was in Mohammed, CEO of Optica. Um, 75 branches is indeed a good milestone to celebrate. But I must mention, it's not the count of branches that we are proud about because we don't chase numbers. What we are actually celebrating today is the actual aim that we have achieved out of. What drove us to get to the number of 75. If I have to explain it in a sentence, 75 is a reflection of the customer preference. When it comes to public who will we'll be requiring a service of an optician, there are two different categories. First category is the one that who knows what to expect from an optician and they know. They look into certain things. The most important one is the competence or the skill level of the optician. The skill level part is mainly contributed by the quality and the thoroughness of the eye test we do. That is the most sensitive and the part that keeps the customer attracted, a loyal to place. The introduction of the KHPO Act. KHPO Act, that is Kenya Health Professionals Oversight Authority. In the absence of this act, we were in grave concern because the industry of optometry was not regulated in the country. Anyone could do an eye test out there, anyone could dispense a pair of spectacles. And this has been a topic that we have spoken in many different um, events before and requesting actually a, a, a certain amount of regulation or governance on this. And then we are really glad now the KH boy is in effect and we are hopeful that they, they will do their work and do the necessary out, expected out of the, the regulation. In, in short, the purpose of KHPOA when it comes to the industry of optician is to go and identify those who are competent, those who are qualified to perform an eye test and then allow only them to practice. The purpose is to protect the, the poor public out there from those who are not qualified to perform an eye test to become a victim of them. So meaning with time, KH Power placing its full influence, we'll be able to see an industry full of qualified optometrists and a lot of good practices because we also hope out of this regulation, industry will also will have other sanitization effects whereby everyone will start following a certain amount of good conduct and practices. I'm really happy to speak about that today because it's been a real requirement that has been a vacuum for so long. The main effect on a legitimate business with the presence of quacks is not the loss of business. It's the challenge that is created by some unfair expectation from the customer. A customer might come right, and expect us to compromise on the standard of service here. They might find a product, a, a counterfeit product sold by someone who's not holding a genuine product to be sold at a different, maybe for a price. And now there's an expectation created in customer. Another provider or another offer or another optician to offer something at a price that a counterfeit is offered at. That's one challenge. But the main challenge is actually not on us, not on the optician. It's on the public because these unqualified people are operating at the cost of a poor public or they are receiving a, a solution or cor correction for their vision that is not actually accurate. This is a serious compromise. It's, it doesn't only give them a solution, it can also make their vision worse. Often they don't even know that their vision has not been corrected. So this is the main challenge that this regulation we have actually addressed. As with any other product, a customer will look for the performance, 
the quality and the durability. So that's another important aspect that equally contributes to how an optician will be recognized. Now the third part is the most common and known, not the least though, that is the affordability. Affordability is an aspect or an element that every customer, every shopper will look into based on their class and category. Now, the amount of growth that we have achieved over the past 65 years or so, it's a legacy of 65 years, is by maintaining, working hard on these three elements. And the number that we have achieved today is actually a, an accumulation of customers from various areas. So the expansion that we've recently achieved also is purely to go near to customers who require our process. Now, the second category I'm referring to are the customers who are less informed, who, who does not have a very clear, clear idea of what to expect from an optician. They are the ones who will walk to any place can be claimed as an optician, will risk the responsibility of doing a proper eye test and then now offering a good product and solution. Now, our self-drive to get to this expansion is also equally or rather more driven by addressing our responsibility to get to those customers because in our presence, those public are actually guaranteed and offered that conformity that you will end up receiving a thorough eye test followed by a good product. Now, coming back to my first point about those different aspects customers will look for, one of the most important aspects, of course, uh, the, thorough of the, the thoroughness of the eye test. Optica has ever since offered the most competent optometrists. Not only the qualification or the academic learning part we look into, the extensive training, including use of various techniques, standard operating procedures, and also modern technology in performing a good eye test. Now, followed by that is where the product part comes. Apart from offering a signature to an international brand collection, one item will stand out for you to recognize how we are standing by our product. That's the one year comprehensive warranty we offer for both frames and lenses. I've heard customers mentioning that this is not heard of in the local context. I'm not too sure if it applies to international context, but that is what we offer. Then now last comes, but the most important part is the pricing aspect, the affordability. A frame, a good quality pair of frame is offered at 890, 890 shillings, as little as 890 shillings, is something that has really drawn the attention of those customers who might still want to go for something completely different based on their preference and class, but they understand that we are offering value this is how we have created that value. And this is what is being appreciated and seen as an appeal out there. Now, what we are celebrating today is a synergy of all these values given together, where we have an increasing number and an increasing trend of customer preference in different areas. So our drive to expand is purely influenced by this factor that Optica is a brand when it comes to an optician to just create a, a availability. My name is Kimston Peter. Um, I, uh, I'm a senior regional manager at Optica. I uh, will first of all, Nigeria, kwa karibisha sana, karibu sana Optica, and welcome to our 75th uh, inauguration at Tendigua, Kiambu Road. Uh, one thing as a seminar, the journey has not been easy. Lakini kitu ambacho imetusaidia kuweza kufika hadi mahali hapa tumefika ni the our passion to make sure that all our clients experience the best customer have the best customer experience 
And uh, ukiangalia ukiweza ku visit any of our branches either Kenya, Uganda, or Rwanda, utakuta we have some uh, very good uh, standard operating procedures zenye zinatusaidia ku make sure that client wetu akuwa ame visit branch yenye ko Nairobi, yenye ko Mombasa, yenye ko Kisumu that service yenye tunampatia ni the same service yenye atapata everywhere. My name is Elena Masawi. I'm a qualified optometrist at Optica. Um Uh, for the differences in terms of professionals, uh, we have opticians. Opticians are people who can dispense eyeglasses. Then we do have optometrists. Those are eye, they're eye doctors. We call them doctor of optometry, who can be able to do an eye examination. They can be able to do treatment and also prescribe eye drops. Then we do have ophthalmologists. Those are eye doctors who specialize now on the ophthalmologist part where they can be able to now to do eye surgeries, the major eye diseases. So for us, what we do, we, we prescribe eyeglasses. We basically, um, we basically concentrate on the refraction part of it. Then we do referrals where necessary wow. to the ophthalmologist. Yes. It's an, a very amazing job. It's actually very rewarding to see that we can be able to offer solutions to people who have issues with vision detect early eye diseases and be able to do referral on time. It's actually very fulfilling to be able to do that. Uh, so this machine, we do have a, a corrupter and we do have um, what people call computerized eye test. It's actually an auto-refractometer. So this one helps us or guides us to what your vision issue is. Then we can be able to confirm the same using a corrupter. Yes.